Hi guys. I am hanging out in one of my sacred spaces, my special place for the last time as this was tucked away in the corner of what was my husband in my bedroom. But um, if you watched my Facebook Live last night, you know that we have transitioned my daughter from her crib to her big girl bed. While doing that, her room switched. We've moved her up to what had been our room. It's a lot bigger space. Figuring we can put her stuff there. We can kind of keep her contained because you know how kids are, they spread. And this way, um, she's getting bigger and she has an opportunity to spread her wings. So that means I am losing my comfortable place. It's quiet. It is a comfy chair tucked away from everything so I am grateful that my room downstairs is coming along so that I will have another place to go and tuck myself away be comfortable get away from the noise that is around me even if it's only for a couple minutes that is really important having a sacred space a quiet place is beneficial to everybody you probably have one but do you go there a lot? If you don't, you really should spend a little bit more time there because it's amazing how just a few minutes in that space can change your perspective, can bring you a peace, a calm, a harmony that you didn't have before. It brings balance. So where is your special place? Is it like mine tucked away in a bedroom? Do you have a park that you go to? Or do you just like to go sit on the toilet or in your car? Where do you like to get away from everything? I also encourage you, if you have a place, because some folks I know tell me it's their patio in the summertime when they can sit out and just listen to the sounds of the neighborhood, hear the birds, feel the sun on their face. But what do you do, especially in Buffalo? The nine months, the half of the year that it's cold out and you can't get outside and sit on that patio. You're cooped up and no wonder you go a little stir crazy. Having that uh, secondary place for the winter months is really important so that you're not forsaking yourself um, from that special, that quiet place. That's a quickie for today. Thank you for watching and thank you for watching me through all of this. If you like what you are seeing, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends. And if you have any topics you'd like to see covered, put it in the comment section below. Also in the comment section below, tell me where your special place is. Don't worry, I'm not going to share with anyone, I'm not going to tell them, and I'm definitely not going to crash it. That is your space, your place for quiet. You don't need my big mouth <laughs> interrupting it. That's it. Talk to you tomorrow. I'm just going to enjoy my quiet. I'm going to take a couple minutes because I got my daughter watching Paw Patrol and my husband having her. She's quite the handful today. I think it's because I've got a house party this afternoon and she knows that I'm going out. She is very mama focused. So I'm just going to steal a couple of minutes. Don't tell anybody. Of course, my husband's going to see this video and know that I stole a couple of minutes. <sighs> oh, I'm going to miss this space. It's where I write, where I nursed, where I meditate. Makes me sleepy. Calm, peace sets in. <sighs>